Darren Johnson went to the Occupy camp and joins us in the studio. LA's camp looks like many of the others. Dozens of tents set up in front of City Hall. But unlike the violence at some Occupy sites, demonstrators here seem determined to remain peaceful. The Occupy movement has now been going for over two months. And to mark the two-month anniversary, Occupy LA took to the streets and ended up right at the front porch of the Bank of America building in the financial district of downtown LA. That day's protests were orchestrated nationwide among the different Occupy groups. Uh, there were conference calls. We had uh, Maestro Conference and a number of other online services where 200 plus uh, encampments around the, the United States participated and planned November 17th as a two-month anniversary uh, set of actions that would take place everywhere focused on the banking sector. Recent unrest at other Occupy sites, as well as arrests made earlier that day, highlighted the question of whether or not Occupy LA's protests would occur without any violence. The LAPD's presence was certainly felt. Some occupiers were not happy with their presence. On our end, we were peaceful and disciplined. On their end, they were serving the interests of the, of the rich and the powerful. While the police maintained they were not at the protest to promote any agenda. LAPD Chief Charlie Beck released a statement on the LAPD's involvement with the protests, stating, My job is to protect the rights of all persons and to ensure that the public is safe at all times. It is always a fine line that we walk in our efforts to protect the First Amendment. Dozens of LA protesters were arrested for blocking traffic and trespassing, but no major incidents were reported. There have been some evictions and other attempts to move Occupy protesters in other locations across the country, including New York. Whether LA city officials will follow suit remains unclear. But for now, Occupy LA goes on. Valley View's Mark Sherman also visited the LA site and reports on the day-to-day -day life in the camp. The complex setup is starting to look more like a city than a protest. There's even neighborhoods within the Occupy LA community. Rob has been here since the planning stages of the protest in late September. He says a couple weeks ago, occupiers started organizing and naming their own villages. As yeah. you can see, it's different villages now. You have a media village over here. You have a production village over here. The bike village is like the bikers. Eric has been at City Hall since October 1st. He came by himself, but has since formed a 12-tent house with other protesters. Yeah, I'm over here at that big, big camp. A couple of them, yeah, I've known before and others I've met. There's even a skid row where some of LA's homeless have found a safe place to stay. Outside of the individual villages, there are community areas that add to the organization of the occupation. The food tent takes in donations and distributes snacks and drinks to members of the movement. Kids Village offers children a place to play together. They can even convey their own concerns about the government through arts and crafts. The Art and Temple Tent gives talented artists the opportunity to express themselves. There's even a library at Occupy LA, stocked with about 250 books. Within the Occupy LA community, there's about 20 committees, like the Arts and Culture, Social Services, and Facilitations Committees. Most committees meet publicly every day. The biggest meeting of the day happens at 7.30 p.m. The nightly General Assembly meeting is for everybody involved in the movement. Occupiers can let their voices be heard on issues important to them. They are also encouraged to let other speakers know whether or not they approve of what they're saying. After the General Assembly meeting, people hang out in the common areas until about 1 or 2 in the morning. It's not until around 9 a.m. that activity starts to pick up again. All the occupiers I talked to said they feel safe here at City Hall. Nobody has been demonstrating violently and the police haven't disrupted the community much at all. Unlike other Occupy camps around the country, Occupy LA seems to have some staying power. From City Hall in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Mark Sherman with Valley View News.